In this video clip, we learn how to use the Durbin Watson statistic to measure autocorrelation in regression. This method is used when data are collected over time for detecting autocorrelation. Autocorrelation exists if residuals in one time period are related to residuals in another time period. So, autocorrelation is correlation of the errors or residuals over time. Here, residuals show a cyclical pattern, not random. Cyclical patterns are a sign of positive autocorrelation. Such a pattern violates the regression assumption that residuals are random and independent. The durbin watson statistic is used to test for autocorrelation. Here in H0, null hypothesis, we have that positive autocorrelation does not exist, or residuals are not correlated. H1, we have that Positive autocorrelation is present, or residuals are correlated. So we calculate the durbin watson statistic as follows. The possible range is between 0 and 4. The statistic should be close to 2 if H0 is true. The statistic is less than 2 when there is a positive autocorrelation. A greater than 2 value may signal negative autocorrelation, which we do not care much in this uh, problem. So here is the process. We calculate the durbin watson test statistic D. Then we find the values dl and du from the durbin watson table. The table is in our textbook. For sample size n and number of independent variable k, we can find the values of dl and du. The decision rule is to reject h0 if d is less than dl and do not reject H0 is D is greater than DU. If D is between DL and DU, then the result is inconclusive. Here we see one example. We have data collected over 15 weeks. We have number of customers. We have sales. We want to see how customers affect sales. So here we have sample size 15 and only one independent variable. So we can locate DL and DU from the durbin watson table. So we can see we have k equals 1, n equals 15, assuming alpha level of significance is 0.05, we can locate the values here. See? I think here. Then we can calculate the durbin watson statistic from pH stat. The value is 0.883, less than dl. So, at alpha equals 0.05, there is a positive autocorrelation among the residuals. Now we see how to find this D statistic from pH stat. Okay, we go to regression, simple linear regression. Okay, Y variable cell range, we use sales, C1, so C16, X variable cell range, B1 through B16. Here we need some middle result. We check 
ANOVA and the coefficient tables. And then we check there have been wet sand statistic. We click OK. Then from here, we see the there have been wet sand statistic, as in here.